I'm Jessica Dean with your evening digital news brief for Thursday, May 31st. One of the young hockey players who survived a deadly bus crash in Canada is now in Philadelphia for a specialized spinal treatment. Today, during a press conference at Shriners Hospital, 19-year-old Ryan Shresnitsky said he's staying positive and setting goals as he begins a program there. He was paralyzed from the chest down when a bus carrying the Humboldt Broncos junior hockey team collided with the tractor trailer. That crash killed 16 people, including 10 of the players. Shriners has a dedicated spinal cord rehab program for children and teenagers. President Trump began his trip to Texas today by meeting privately with the families of victims killed in a school shooting this month. Ten people were killed in the attack at Santa Fe High School. The president's visit comes as his commission on school safety convened for another meeting. After Parkland, the president said he would look into stricter background checks, raising the minimum age for buying assault weapons and possibly arming teachers. Today, Education Secretary Betsy DeVos said the commission would not issue its final recommendations until the end of the year. More Sears department stores are closing their doors this summer. Today, the company announced in addition to the 400 locations closed over the last 12 months, another 48 stores will also close. A location in Burlington, New Jersey is among them. Company officials say they also plan to close 15 additional Kmart stores. Liquidation sales will begin at some locations as early as two weeks from today. And an update now on the four peacocks that escaped from the Philadelphia Zoo. Sadly, we've learned at least one of the birds was found dead this afternoon. The other three appear to be on the loose. The birds escaped yesterday and then proceeded to cause a traffic jam on the Schuylkill Expressway. Police, uh, police safely got the peacocks off the highway, then resumed their search today. Anyone who sees the bird is asked not to approach them. Instead, contact the zoo. And rem remember, you can always get the latest on these stories and more right here on CBSPhilly.com. For the Evening Digital Brief, I'm Jessica Dean.